Hello children our today's story is apple trouble in this story we will know about the troubles made by apple to the little creature that is hedgehog and we will also know how she get rid of it let's start our story once upon a time there was a hedgehog she was preparing for winter she had just finished building her winter nest under the old apple tree suddenly a juicy red apple landed on her back ouch squeaked hedgehog she curled into a spiny ball to get rid of it but she could not she tried to squeeze herself and the apple into the new nest but could she get in no she couldn't the nest was too small squirrel scurrying past with an armful of brown nuts stopped to help he pushed her but the juicy red apple stayed where it was worse still three of squirrels brown nuts got caught in the hedgehog's spines so now she had a juicy red apple and three brown nuts on her back oh dear wailed hedgehog winter is coming and i cannot get into my nest what will i do try rolling on your back snorted pig trotting up hedgehog threw herself on the ground and wriggled and rolled has it all gone she asked hopefully pig shook his head no the juicy red apple and three brown nuts were still there with a small green pear and a crumpled brown leaf and then up in the sky sailing towards hedgehog she saw a colorful piece of paper oh no she cried this way and that she ran as fast as she could this way and that drifted the paper and landed right on her back it's not fair cried hedgehog i will never get into my nest hedgehog patters to the pond and gazed at her reflection in the water hello hedgehog that's a lot of stuff on your back croaked frog hum i am trying to get rid of it sniffed hedgehog dive said frog that will wash it off hedgehog dipped a foot into the murky water and dived splash her friends watched her bobbing up and down the juicy red apple the three brown nuts the small green pear the crumpled brown leaf and the colorful piece of paper were all still there so was a pink water lily glug 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 hedgehog as the others headed her out of the water she did look funny but hedgehog did not find it funny stop laughing she stamped her feet on the ground where i will sleep pig and squirrel looked worried so did frog i do have one last idea oinked pig squeeze through that hedge over there that will brush everything off so hedgehog closed her eyes and squeezed herself through the thick leaves but did it get everything off her back no it didn't it was all still there so were four ripe blackberries and there staring at her with a look of great surprise stood goat oh cried goat you have brought lunch help yourself said hedgehog take it all yippee bread goat then he picked off and ate the juicy red apple the three brown nuts the small green pear the pink water lily and four ripe black berries 
For dessert, he ate the paper. The only thing he left was the crumpled brown leaf. He just could not eat any more. Hurrah! cried Hedgehog. She said, "Thank you, goat." Then she ran as fast as her little legs could carry her through the gate, past the pond, across the orchard, under the tree, and home to her nest. Hedgehog squeezed into her nest. It fitted her perfectly, and it was the best nest ever. Outside, a cold wind blew another apple off the tree, but it didn't fall on Hedgehog. She was safe in her nest and fast, fast asleep. Thank you.